couple hours in Georgia. We've got 34 miles until the border. Just gonna get there, get into Azerbaijan as quick as we can. I've actually got a feeling that the border's gonna go wrong today for some reason. I don't know why, gut feeling. I'm not gonna, something's gonna happen. This is a first for me, when your map takes you down the side of a railway line. Oh well. So I'm literally two minutes away from the border crossing. It's just down there, just over that hill. And then we came across this wee puppy. Skinny, full of fleas and ticks. And it just went over next to the bike and just dropped down. The nearest vet is four hours back that way, back in the capital. So it looks like Azerbaijan is not happening today. <sighs> Such a big hill as well. Hey. Hey. It's okay. Right, I know you're gonna go absolute mental with this, but I need to do it, okay? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Right, let's go. So I just stopped to check on him and he's not looking good. His breathing slowed right down. Still about an hour away, so I don't know. I need to keep pushing. His fingers crossed he holds on. It's all up the hill, I know. That God's sake, man. I've just checked him and he's still breathing. I'm back at the railway bridge. So once I'm over here, I'm getting a cheap hotel and then taxi, taxi to the vets. Almost there. So I had to
Dan, take two. We're about 20 miles away from the border. We just go over the big hill, so it's all downhill from here. And I'm a wee bit worried because Nala's paperwork was signed to go in to cross the border for two days ago. So obviously we found the dog and you know what the customs are like, they'll probably flag it up and send us back to the police. And if that happens, I've no, I've no sight on that. That's it, we're just coming up to the border. So I'll try and record. But it's risky. Give it a go. Guess what? We're good to go. Give me that back. in Azerbaijan. Normally when you go for the border crossings, all the officials have a wee bit of attitude about them. They don't really talk to you. But that one, friendliest border point you can imagine. They were all coming out, clapping Nala. Aye, they were just good. We got here quite late, so it was pretty dark, we were setting up. But here is the campsite we've got, right next to the motorway. Got the bike, Nala in the tent, got Nala's toy, and there it is though, the new sleeping bag. Look at that. Ooh. Cannot wait to get a night's sleep in that. Good night. That was one of the best sleeps ever. It's now seven o'clock in the morning. I don't want to get up because this is like the comfiest sleeping bag. It's like you're sleeping on a cloud. It's just so soft, so warm. It just feels so nice. Shall we then? Right, let's do this.
now I slept well. It's time to pack up and move on. We're going to a place called Ganja today. So that's 66 miles. Brush your teeth. She hates the smell of toothpaste. You hungry? Yes ma'am, thank you. Thank you very much. I love ganja. Nala, do you love ganja? Do you love ganja? So thumbs up, Nala also loves ganja.
So we've done 40 miles today and now we're just trying to figure out where to sleep. We've got a dam just up that hill which could be quite cool, we've never slept in a dam yet, have we? Ended up getting a hotel room last night because of the dam, it was full of guards. So I thought we'd sleep here. That just gives us a day to work on YouTube. And if the Wi Fi is strong enough, fingers crossed. What are you doing to my back? Nala. Nah, turn around. Get your claw out of my neck. Get your claw out my neck. Turn around. Turn around. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, this is our hotel. Pretty basic, pretty cheap. And the puppy update, he's eaten. He's still not past the object in his tummy. Um, his legs getting a wee bit better. He's still scared of human contact, but he's getting more active as well. So fingers crossed next week, I get to go and see him again and then see what happens from there. Eh? You might have a wee brother. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? You want a brother? Don't meow if you want a brother.